Anyway, here with Reaction, let's give a nice welcome. She's the author of the upcoming book, Serenity in the Storm. Yeah. 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 And now kid founder, Clay Travis. Welcome up here, Clay. Yeah. All right, it's a simple philosophy. Everything's free, and we're going to unilaterally disarm in terms of the economy and energy production. And we'll enrich China along the way. How does it make sense? You know, Joe Biden said, I oppose the Green New Deal. He said it over and over again. Well, he's essentially back-roading, back-dooring the Green New Deal through these new EV standards, which we know 75% of lithium is in China. So let's get China rich. Let's cut our CO2 emissions, hemorrhage jobs, and all of our emission cuts be wiped away by a day or two in China in what they emit. It makes a whole right. lot of sense. That's common sense for and Joe Biden. And you pay 15 to 20 grand more. They pillage Mother Earth with big machinery to get the cobalt and the manganese and the nickel to build the batteries. Uh, you know, Clay, I'm looking at all this. Does anybody here prefer an EV? I don't care if you do. And is there any one person? Oh. Oh. Not Zero. one person no. here. Yeah, yeah and, and you know this, because we do radio. The EV, they're trying to wipe out AM radio, so you can't even listen to your show. Your on show, there. my I, show. All yeah. of us, right? Right. Uh, but you, you mentioned that 93 tr trillion. You know when we started the Tea Party? We were at $10 trillion in debt. We've added $22 trillion in debt in the last 12 plus years. $93 trillion more. Even little things like Russia. You know, we're trying to prevent them from being able to sell their oil. Have you seen the data? They're actually selling it to Middle Eastern countries and they're using it. And now they're working their way around all of this. All of it is much less clean than the oil and gas that we produce. Yeah. And so it's infuriating to see the cost that is coming out. 70% of people think the economy is awful under Joe Biden, and they're right. It is. Yeah. I mean, do you guys feel comfortable yeah. with the economy right now? I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, let me ask this question. Do you, if we produced all of our energy, yes. and we were energy independent again, uh, is that good for foreign policy, do you think, and national yeah. security? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's good for high-paying career jobs, right? Yes. And, okay. Do you think it's good for our allies in Western Europe? you think it's good for them? Yes. Okay. Give me one reason we shouldn't be producing it, because it is the lifeblood of the world's economy. You're exactly right. I mean, look, I, I heard one person put it this way earlier in the week. Do we want it to be energy independent, to focus on an energy source where right. we are abundant in this United States? We can drill for it. We have it here at home or be dependent on China for rare earth minerals in order to produce our energy? I think the answer is obvious. But we have a president, he said this, the single existential threat to the world is climate change. This is where this guy's head's at. I can think of a few others, like you won't harden our oh, schools I think I know so where our kids are really literally <laughs> vulnerable. China, oh. Russia, Saudi yeah. Arabia, you know, these new alliances, it's a huge. We're making them, our most hated uh, adversaries, wealthier. Right. Look at what they are able to do because we're not producing our own oil and gas. It's not just that we're diminishing our economic output output. We're rising them up. It's crazy and it's infuriating and there's no way to defend it. And I would just wish once all of the people that are advocating for the Green New Deal. I wish they would give up flying private. Right. Yeah. Just if you care so much about the future of this country. Maybe fly commercial for the rest of your life exactly. instead of flying all over the place or, or on your boat, private like jets. Like Greta Thunberg, I prefer well, the boat. Well, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yes. You could do that. I love Davos every year. You get 1,100 private jets yes. flying in to talk about climate change <laughs> and lecture us about eating meat. That's yeah, my favorite, that's right? right? Yes, we, they've never heard of Zoom. All right, so how do we stop this? The only way I see to stop it is to win the next election. Yeah. Yes. That's no it. doubt about it. You must win. We must have a president, uh, who a, a nominee, I should say, who goes into this clear-eyed as to who they're up against, uh, who delivers a choice to contrasting agendas, get rid of the personal attacks. Here's my plan. Here's how Joe, Joe Biden's ruining you, because the unpopular personal polling of Joe Biden doesn't translate to electoral victory unless we deliver the American people a clear choice. What do you think? I, I think Kaylee's 100 percent right about that. I also think you have to call out some of this craziness when they say, oh, we're going to just do away with oil and gas in the next decade. Yeah. I mean, Joe Biden is dementia riddled, in my opinion. I don't think he really <laughs> understands what he's saying. But there are a lot of true really? believers. He seems brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he almost spelled eight correctly. You know, he only uh, left no. one letter off uh, <laughs> yesterday. Um, but, you know, there's so much out there 
of true believers, they legitimately think that by 2033, there's not going to be oil and gas powered vehicles. Oh. I think they're all a little bit, they've lost their minds. I would also just say really quickly, yeah. Joe Biden hid in the basement last time. We tried to smoke him out of the basement. Tough to do. We got to smoke him out of the oval because he's going to try to hide there. Yeah. That's a great line. We'll end it there. Yeah. How great is Kaylee and Clay? Great job. Thank you both. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.